This video demonstration is brought to you by the Crafts Channel in association with Dremel Hobby. Hi, my name's Kate Hemmings and I'm pleased to welcome you to a special video project demonstration brought to you by the Crafts Channel in association with Dremel. Dremel offers a fantastic range of hobby tools which are perfect for all your crafting projects and today Corinne Brad is going to be showing us how to use the Dremel engraver. Hi Corinne. Hello Kate. So, the engraver. Tell the engraver, about you'll it. love the engraver. The engraver is a beautiful tool. It's very compact. It is very compact. It's very lightweight. You have a nice ambidextrous grip here because I'm left-handed but it's, it's easy for anybody. Um, and the great thing is, is you can get so close to the tip, which it doesn't oscillate, it vibrates, but you can do really fine work on it. It doesn't make your hand tired because it's not heavy. You've got a speed adjustment on the side here and the on-off switch at the back. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Now, it comes with two carbide tips, which are more or less multi-purpose tips. You can use them on stone, wood, metal. It also comes with a diamond tip um, that's for harder materials such as glass. The tips are very easy to change. You simply unscrew the small screw on the side and it slips out of the socket. Very easy. When you put it back in, do make sure that you tighten it up because as I say, with it vibrating, you don't want it coming loose. I'm going to show you today how to engrave some pebbles. They look fantastic. They, they've come out really well actually. I mean, I've used polished pebbles which you can get from supermarkets. It's the kind that you decorate around, you know, put round candles to decorate because they are slightly polished and it does mean that when you engrave it you've got a much better contrast with the, the unpolished bit of stone that you've engraved. Um, they're great for good luck charms, um, wedding, wedding yeah, wedding favours would be great, you know, little wedding gifts, um, rune stones. The other thing also, this bracelet here. I love this. I know, this is very sort of tattoo like, very, very fashionable at the minute. Um, I've engraved these, these are silver plated charms, so when you engrave it you will find that you'll go down through the plate onto the copper base, but that's quite nice because again it gives you a contrast. That's done with a carbide tip, and then what I've done is to add a bit of colour to it is I've actually coloured the designs with alcohol inks. They look great. The only thing I can see wrong with that is that it doesn't have my initials, <laughs> but I'm sure you can fix that But later. yeah, I mean monogram initials are really simple, little heart logos. I've also engraved some of these big chunky glass beads. Now you'd use the diamond tip to do the, the glass beads and okay. what you must do when you're engra engraving glass is you must wear a pair of safety goggles. I mean these are quite widely available. Very snazzy. Great fashion statement. But you will get tiny chips of glass coming up and it doesn't matter how careful you are or how far away you keep your head, Best it's really not worth the risk. So if you're engraving glass, do wear safety goggles at all times. Okay. So if you would like to grab me a stone, I'm going to show you how simple this is. There we go. Now, if you work on a pad of material, it will mean that you've got something to bed the stone into so it doesn't move. It also means that your hand is at the right working angle because you can put your fist on your tabletop, but your stone's slightly raised. Let's do it like this. Okay, what are you going to engrave? Oh, I wonder. Okay. What shall I engrave? Yes. Okay, let's just start. Very easy. I'm going to do this freehand. Okay. If you're concerned about the design, get a fine line permanent marker and just sketch your design on there in permanent marker because once you've engraved it, you, it will just the, the ink can come off with something like nail varnish remover or glue remover. You're full of handy tips. I am full of handy tips. Okay, this is just the start. I can't of your believe letter. how easy that is. It is easy. It's Mate. it's very easy. I mean, if you if you're uncertain of your ha of your handwriting, you do find that there's a set of templates in the kit. Um, there's an alphabet template. There's also um, some flourishes. So everything you need little to get motif. started. Yeah, and practice. yeah. And it is just practice. I mean, with with the components being as cheap as they are, you can just practice to your heart's content. But I'll carry on. This is the beginning of an initial. Well, it's the beginning of a name. Can you guess what it is yet? Oh, I have no idea, Corinne. <laughs> you have the name. 
That just get the dust fantastic. off it. fantastic. It's so quick as well. What you'll find, the smoother the stone you've got, the easier it is. If you've got stones with slight imperfections in it, you will catch the tip on it. But it, it's just a matter of practice. I don't want to bed down too hard in it. And if you do find that your lines are a bit wobbly, you can just go over the top. So with letters, short strokes are probably easier. Obviously, if you're doing flourishes and swirls, you need to get a nice smooth curve Steady on it. It's better to do it all in one. But again, you can practice for hours. It looks as easy as drawing. It is it as really easy as drawing. Is clever. Now, I'm assuming I get to keep this. Uh, no, that's for my friend, Kate. Oh, disappointing. <laughs> now, if you, like me, are already planning to rush out and buy one of the Dremel engravers, don't worry. Simply pop along to www.dremel.com to find your nearest stockist. See you next time.